What is good guys, it's Ray J back with another video. And in this one, I want to break down what's going on with SPY, Tesla, and video, the QQQ, and a couple of other tickers. I'll break down what's happening with the overall market thus far. What's going on with important factors involving the share prices. So what you should be watching for as time progresses, as I believe the market could dip a little bit more and then eventually get a bounce. I'm going to break down some levels to watch for when it comes to that move. But before I begin the devil's information, before I talk about how the market could end up moving, let me just mention a couple of things. I am personally not a financial planner, so take nothing I say as financial advice. And also, if you guys can, please check out the Weeble link, which is down below and in the description. If you sign up for Weeble and deposit $500, you're guaranteed 20 free stocks. If you deposit $25,000 or more, you're guaranteed 75 of them. And the offer ends very soon in just a couple of weeks. Anyways, now let's break down what's happening to the market. Looking at SPY, we're treating the 20 EMA as resistance, and we have support currently at 500. I believe that if we hold 500, we could try to bounce off here. But if we lose 500, there could be one more drop coming all the way down to 497. And once we get down here, this thing is going to kind of range straight a bit and eventually try to rebound. So I'll be watching to see where this thing ends up holding. Do we hold one uh, this 500 area and then try to bounce off this? Or do we drop a little bit more? towards 497 and then get the bounce so that's what i'm going to be looking for on spy i'll be breaking down more details about the market in just a few minutes let's first go over some data so we had initial jobless claims come out as expected at 212,000. and we also had continuing jobless claims as expected which is not bad whatsoever moving forward we have bowman williams and a couple more fed speakers coming out not to mention at 11 30 a.m we have the four week and eight week bill auctions coming out we'll be watching to see what happens with those it's going to be very very important so we'll have to see how things go from there Moving forward, I just want to mention that in terms of the whole war with Israel and uh, Iran, right now, Israel is saying that it's going to decide how it's going to respond as Iran is warning against retaliation. So with the whole attacks that have been happening, right, Israel is threatening to respond to Iran. Iran is saying that they'll respond to Israel if they end up attacking. It's just going back and forth and back and forth as the situation remains very, very tense and hasn't really eased down quite yet, in my opinion. For news involving the markets, we have a losing streak on the S&P 500 and the Nasdaq Composite. We had four days of just straight up losing, straight up selling off, and the market dropped quite a bit. Uh, there's also news coming out that right now, Alphabet, aka Google, is going to restructure its financial, chief, uh, financial team. Excuse me, It's going to include layoffs and relocations, which is a broader effort by them to rearrange people and resources. We also terminated 28 employees. There's also news coming out that airline executives say that they're not seeing any signs of downward slopes right now because of the fact that uh delta airline and united airlines are expecting record travel this summer and we're getting closer to summer which is going to be very very big we had uh tsmc announced earnings i'll talk about that in just a minute and finally we're going to be list listening to 100 happens with the fed we have a lot of speakers today and we have more coming out in the future so i'll be listening to those very carefully for tsmc we just had earnings and they did relatively well in my opinion uh looking at their earnings overall they are expecting some strong results. So we saw their net revenue beat with $18.87 billion. Net income was also a beat. Net revenue rose 16.5%, which is not bad. And then they're, they also guided the first quarter revenue to be between 18 and $18.8 billion, which they ended up meeting in, which is not bad whatsoever. Moving forward, they're expecting a healthy 2024. Despite the earthquake that happened in Taiwan, they're saying it's not going to affect them as horribly. And they're seeing at least $19.6 billion in revenue to about $20.4 billion for the second quarter. We're also seeing more growth projections and more and more strong performance projections as well moving forward. So it's not bad whatsoever. We're going to be looking at uh, their net profit margins continuing to improve. And we're seeing more and more growth projections as well. So I would say pretty good earnings from them. Uh, good guidance, good beats. And I think that it wasn't bad whatsoever from what I'm seeing in terms of their profit expectations. And that's what happened with earnings. They report earnings. We also have Netflix today after the market closes. That's going to be key. For the people interested in Tesla, Barclays has cut their price target on Tesla, saying that you know Q1 may not be the best for them. So now let's break down the charts for SPY and the others. So SPY has seen buyers defending 500. I think SPY could come down and retest this 500 range. And we're going to be watching to see if we can get a bounce back up above 505. If we break past 505, well, there's 503 and then 505. If we break 505, I'm going to turn bullish, and I think this thing could start pushing all the way up to about 505. Uh, close to 507 and then if that breaks <laughs> excuse me if that breaks 510 is coming next and above that but right now we have this resistance that's approaching at these higher levels uh so we'll have to see how this ends up reacting so i think that we have 500 as support in 497 
497 is where the gap happens to be. As that in my video from yesterday, I suspect that SPY is either going to try to hold 500 and then try to bounce, or it could actually drop a little bit lower if we lose this and fill the gap to 497 and then get that bounce. But somewhere here, it's going to try to get a big bounce back up to 505 plus. Uh, it's either going to be off 500 or 497, and I think that that's very likely for SPY. Could we dip a little bit more? Yes, we could. We could drop a bit more to 500, if not 497. And once we're in this range, I'm going to be looking for a bounce. I find that that's to be very, very probable as the most likely possibility. For the QQQ, in resistance at 427 and also 429, followed by 430. Then we have support at 423.8, followed by 422. I suspect that the QQQ is going to either try to base at 425, which is where our gap ha fill happened to be, or we could drop all the way down to 422.5, like all the way in this 422 to 423 range, and then we get the bounce. So either 425 we bounce, or all the way down to 422 we get a bounce. At one of those levels, the QQQ should bounce. I still project a little bit of downside could come. Could retest this area, and then we'll see how it reacts to that. That's going to be key for the stock. Uh, for Tesla... We're looking very weak on Tesla. We're barely holding 150. We'll have to see if this holds. If we lose this, 150 support, Tesla is going to dip to the mid 140s and then try to bounce. Or it's going to try to hold 150 and then bounce off that. As of right now, Tesla is looking kind of weak because we got the downgrade from Barclays. And we got more bearish news about the layoffs. So, you know, Tesla's looking weak right now. Can we look and see if we could hold 150? If we lose this, there's going to be one more dip coming all the way down to the mid 140s. And then we could bounce off that. If you hold 150, we could bounce off that. But as of right now, we're looking a bit more bearish. So watch and see where Tesla tries to base. So be patient. Wait for it to kind of like find its bottom and be patient for the time being. For NVIDIA, it's the same thing. Essentially, we are dipping a little bit. Going to be looking to see if we hold 844. If we lose this, look for 834 to 830. And if that fills us, 823 is coming. There could be one more dip coming to NVIDIA before it tries to bounce. Or it could try to hold this 840 zone and then try to bounce off that. It's going to be very, very key. We're on a downtrend right now. The share price looks a little weak. So watch this 840 area. If we lose this, we're going to dip all the way down to at least the 830 flat range and then try to bounce. If we hold 840, we could try to rebound to the 862 area. We're just going to watch and see where it bases. That's what I think is the key for the markets right now. Watch and see where we end up basing. Another thing about Apple is that we're at 167.5. If we lose this, look for 166. We could bounce off 166 or we could bounce off 167.5. And that, that's where our support happens to be. So watch and see, does Apple get a little temporary bounce from here? We're at the support. If this is a symmetrical structure, we could rebound first and then start dipping, or we could just dip from here. We'll just have to wait and see. We look bearish on Apple. I just want to make that very clear. So we'll give this a little bit more time. So we'll see how things go. For Amazon, we're looking a little bit uh, decent. If we hold this 180 as the low, we could rebound to 184. If we end up losing 180, look for 178 and then a bounce. So either it bounces off 180 since we tested that yesterday, or we could bounce off 178 and then push back up to 184. So watch and see where that is. For Meta, it's trying to rebound a bit. If we break past 500, look for 506. If we lose support, we're going to be dipping. So I'll be watching that as well. But with that being said, guys, that is it for the video. Have fun. Take care, guys. And I'll see you guys very soon on the next one. Thank you for listening. Market to the moon. We'll see where we end up going from here. And we'll watch our support and resistance levels and be very patient nonetheless. All right. So I think the market could drop a little bit more. It still is a possibility. But then we should be looking for a bounce after that. We could either drop to 500 on spine bounce or 497 on spine then bounce. So watch and see where we base at and be very patient. All right. Thanks again and peace out.